So hi, Andreas. Hi, my name is Andreas. I am designer of Endorphins. Today at Superboost 2022, we present new products. We have a very cool collaboration product with Andrew Wang. Their module is called Gust. It's their multi-effect. It's a creative effects unit. We will uh, get on it on later. Afterwards, we have their Airstreamer 4, which is a slimline version of Airstreamer for HP. Uh, it's a very deep D DSP code we did, and we optimized the module um, from the old R streamer. And also we have here the running order in 1U. 1U format is getting more popular uh, recently, so we also try to catch up with the, with the things and we repackaged it into the uh, 1U format. So some, some of the things from your rack is very cool to repackage, re repack uh, from the 3U into 1U so you can always optimize your system. So let's get back on the ghost. So uh, we uh, did a collaboration with, uh, with Andrew and that's a creative multi-effects processor. Uh, it's not um, actually uh, um, like we, everyone was like a time when we had and there was lots of uh, algorithmic modules that like a module can do anything, can do run different algorithms. Um, in the end, we it's a completely opposite. So that is basically uh, uh, all, the, all the algorithms we left, we considered what are really important. And using a new chip technology, we use it ARM7 processor and 96 kilohertz. We uh, created the effect processor that is, uh, have, doesn't have a Mm, fixed structure, but at the same time, it has everything you need for uh, something like from channel strip, but it's not a traditional channel strip, you know. Um, so uh, imagine you have a delay with a reverb, you have a, you have a distortion, you have a filter, filter can be a comp and band pass, and reverb can be reversed or something, and the delay can be Mm, clocked or tap or something. It's, we have a compressor and the, the side chain and distortion. So are they all uh, independent of one another or is there, how are they rooted? Uh, basically there is a variable routing. routing. So the routing out actually depends on, so you, there are like few options of routing and uh, the, there are like two different of like approaches. So the first thing you um, just uh, simply try explore it on yourself. So, and uh, you get results what you, what you want, and you just, uh, if you're happy with it, it's is good. And the second one, there are like three options of routing, and we consider them like in a three different, like for three different styles. So it's basically, it's a sound designer um, tool, uh, like universal tool, so you can absolutely shape all your sounds as you wish, so you can distort them, you can uh, slightly smear them in the reverb, Within, we have a nice stereo reverb here, um, you can add a delay, you can uh, filter them, so it's basically like a um, mixer uh, chain, right? But it's non-traditional because at some point, so um, let's, let's, let's listen to it. So right now we have a pure Delay, then we add it. Add a distortion. We can absolutely like instantly uh, filter it. So depending on their routine. So depending on the routine, we can obtain absolutely different results and the results are either unpredictable or if you know what you're doing, you can be, get pretty much predictable things. I believe that uh, one of the particular case of how we can use it is for example, if we add the bass drum and we just input the bass drum like a, some simple 
uh, transient into the audio input, we can uh, really obtain a nice techno rumble, like low frequency rumble um, grooves that can be easily side chained. Uh, we have the trigger input, and the side chain is absolutely with a, with a secondary button is applied and can be like absolutely instantly ducked into the into the mix. So that is our one thing, so we consider it also very useful for game development soundtracks, for example, because with that kind of unit you can apply any type of like generic processing on on any sounds, and afterwards you can obtain mostly like different like in like a ghost effects, but it's on the end you can get like absolutely clean sounds and smear them in the reverb, you can distort them or you can filter them. So that's our, like a unit, so you can shape the sounds very, in a very creative, creative ways. Our, the next of the units we have here, so we have the Air Streamer. The Air Streamer is a 4HP um, version of our Air Streamer, which has a bit of twist, so we have the um, amplitude of the envelope can be output, so we can output it with the, with the, we have the knob and there is a built-in VCA, so the module can do a sample and hold, track and hold, uh, that can do a bit of slew, so limiting, so it's everything digital, it's our code, and I think it's pretty uh, um, dense module for such a small one, because usually um, the envelope generators you need a lot in the system, and uh, the smaller it is, the basically the more util system you can have. Our, we we have prepared here like a few different systems. Um, it's just not the system that we um, manufacture the systems, but we can show how the units can be assembled because it's a Eurorack is a um, is a team game. You can um, um, assemble the instrument according to your needs, and uh, um, we can show like for example the black system, which is like a 104 HP uh, IntelliJ case for uh, you system. So we have basically all our 1U modules, the Golden Master, Cockpit, Milky Way and Running Order here in 1U, and uh, we have basically the the ghost uh, with the envelope. We have the Godspeed, so it's great kind of that analog, analog voice. We have also the Queen of Pentacles with two of cups that can create like sample system. So in the sphere that, um, of popularity, the small systems, uh, that kind of system is really kind of cool, considered to be like a small system for... Yeah, you've kind of got everything that you might need for a, a live set or something. Right, for example, yeah. For example, yeah, yeah because um, but still, like uh, it's still maybe slightly bigger than typical, like micro system. But it's still like rather good. Uh, we have another one system, like just it's just ex example how people can uh, can create and to be creative uh, is also like to assemble a, a live system is just also like piece of art. You need to go through the mistakes and try it and trial and errors. So basically we have here like more like people will come to the super boost and they will try. So we have the sequencer and uh, like two, two of cups, like four samples with the, we can mix them in the cockpit and the ghost as a processor with uh, total recall as a microcontroller because the ghosts are lots of controls and there are lots of like in the dry wet things and they also influence each other. But with the total recall, we can also do the macro of them. So at some point, it could be interesting in a way. And the, the silver system, because recently we also presented lots of modules in the silver panels. So are the panels available uh, separately, or are they um, you either buy uh, black panels or silver modules? Uh, well, you, you either buy black panels or so, uh, modules with the black panels or silver panels. If people want to replace the panels, we have the store, we mean we have that like online merch store where we sell only panels. Sometimes people need only small things and uh, just like a small one button, some some replacement of a, of a knob, and uh, that's what we can deal only with, uh, with, with that thing. So we uh, re did a rebranding of the new design. I like it very much uh, with the new 
face plates, I think it's even better. You can see, see everything uh, precisely with, with a, at, a, at a hand, at a distance of a hand. And uh, so also the new designs will slowly move on the, on the black panels as well. And uh, for example, also like the example of a pretty like a tiny, small, funny systems. It's also like uh, basically the ghost with the uh, air streamer. So they are like a small couple. So it's like pretty cool. I like a drone, drone combo because you can just apply small transients and it just creates a huge wall of sounds. So, so it's uh, almost like instant pleasure. So um, the ghost is mm -hmm. that is that an available now, or will it? Do you know when it will be available and what the price point would be? Uh, well, basically, we are aiming for July for the summer. So we already reserved all the chips, so the panels are manufacturing, it's everything is manufacturing. So we expect it like in approximately two months. It's our typical, more or less, product cycle. The price point, I think, it's around about for for sixty or for seventy euros. Um, and then, which is I would I would consider it's like it's in a similar range of our, of um, of different kind of processors. And then the Airstreamer will that be available in a similar sort of time period? Yeah, yeah absolutely. It will be like in the two months. So the Airstreamer and the running order we uh, basically they are all already also in production and they will be available in two months as well. The price is just the same as all our the rest modules in the same range or the same of the same uh, of the same line, 6 HP line, for example. Yep. Brilliant. Well, Andreas, thank you very much. Thank you so much.